G'day guys, welcome back um, to part two of this ridiculous haul that I have done this month. Um, we'll get into it, strap yourselves in. This one is going to be a long one. Um, if you watched the video before, um, that was my colouring books and that was large enough in itself. But um, that was just one thing. Um, this one is the supplies that go with it. And um, I, uh, yeah, I went just a little bit overbooked. So may as well get straight into it. Um, first things I'll go through are the paper-based stuff. Oh, well, I think. I don't know. There's so much stuff down here. Um, I grabbed a few different planner type uh, documents from Typo. Um, I'm going to put together a little uh, make it, well, make a um, prize for um, some winners of the wellbeing challenge that I was um, hosting or running at my work in the last a few months um so that will kind of be being part of it so we've got like a little um planner document and then a track your goals everyday counts um so i've got a couple of them and i'll put them to go together for the winners and then i grabbed this one which is this book contains my whole year so i started a bullet journal at the start of this year and i must admit i sucked at it um, I just, I couldn't keep up with it, but I saw this and I went, well, you know what, this might be more manageable, um, coming up in the, you know, in the next few months, next year. So it's just got a monthly overview, a couple of pages for notes, and then it still has the grid pattern if I want to create something for myself and then so forth. So grabbed them and they were from Typo and along with that, I grabbed this, um, which is just a grid layout um, lecture notebook with different sections. Now, I grabbed this because swatches. Um, as my art collection grows, trying to um, maintain it all in a place that's usable and so forth has kind of become the ongoing issue. So I started off ages ago and I put together and I started making a couple of, um, turn around, a couple of swatches of my coloured pencils and then I bought more and so I've made more and I have bought even more since then. So I then went in and got my journal and was going to put some swatches into the back of that and things like that and it's all just kind of become a bit all over the place so I thought I'd grab this and this way I could have a section for pencils a section for you know markers and pens um, a section for planning um, of what colors I use in different projects and so forth so that is what I grabbed and I like the grid layout um, I prefer it to lines so that is what I grabbed. And then I like the front, the design for this one, which is Regions of the Mind Phrenology. Um, a very old school look at psychology. I um, teach psychology at my school. So I thought it was kind of fitting. And especially when um, art and, and colouring and all of that kind of stuff is very much linked for me, linked with my anxiety and depression and those kinds of mental health and mental well-being um, issues. But this worked out really good. So that's going to be um, a project in the you know coming weeks. Um, if you'd like to see what it ends up looking like, let me know and I'm happy to flip through how I end up putting it all together and organising it. I find organising and swatching just as relaxing as the other processes. I think that organisation of things that are tangible helps organize my mind. So I find it very calming to do those kinds of things. I then um, grabbed a few bits of papers um, uh, for drawing, coloring in. So I grabbed a sketch pad. Um, it is acid free, 150 grams, and it's got it's smooth with a little bit of tooth there. Um, so I thought that might be nice for colouring in. 
same as this one was genuine drawing cartridge patch i don't know what it feels like um, i think i felt it in store and it was very similar to that one but just something i can print if i decide i really like a coloring picture especially pdf files i can print them on that and have a bit better quality paper than just regular printing paper then grabbed the marker pad um so i figured this might be good it says obviously that it's for use with um, graphic markers alcohol and watercolor markers so anything like the henna lynn books or anything like that that is very much um, linked towards using the alcohol markers i thought well, i can do that i me it's always cheaper to buy a3 cut it down the middle i've got 100 sheets of a4 you know budget and then I was in another store and this was marked right down. So I grabbed this as well, more drawing paper, A3. This one's got um, a little bit more, even more tooth on it, which um, I thought might be nice. So they're the papers I grabbed. All right, let's get on to, who knows? I, I honestly, same with the coloring books. I don't even know what I ended up getting. All right, paper. We're still with paper. Um, I was at Daiso and these were some rolls of some handmade washi paper. Thought this would be really good for craft, wrapping, lots of different things. Um, I like that handmade feel texture. So I grabbed a few rolls of that. In fact, I grabbed all the rolls that were left because that's what I do. What else did I get? Let's see, I grabbed a little um, magnifying glass, um, simply for a lot of things, um, like the Kirby books and things like that. And I thought it might be good to be able to go over and have a bit of a closer look at what I'm actually colouring, so I can get a bit of an idea. Um, I grabbed cotton swabs, that's for my pastels. Um, so these have just got the pointed tips. Um, nice to get in, into areas that I can't reach easily with my soft tools and things like that. Grabbed a, a few of these little um, word books and word cards. Um, I thought they would be good um, if I do end up making some videos of um, colouring in or drawing. I've got the swatches of um, the pencils or markers that I'm using on these. A bit easier to show than um, me talking all the time. So I thought I'd do that. And then also having them there, if I'm doing colour by numbers and things like that, I can put it upside very easily. So I grabbed them. I'm like, where am I going to put all this stuff as I go through it? I have no idea. What else did I get? I grabbed... So this is at Daiso, um, obviously a Japanese discount store. Um, I grabbed some washi tape or printable masking tape that's in like little stamps, little Japanese stamps. I thought they were really cute. Um, they're little things that I might use either within my classroom or just because they're cute. And they're blank, so I could even colour them in if I, it's so sort of, you know, um, if I thought it'd add to a picture or something like that. That. so that was pretty cool didn't need washi tape to save myself but you know i got enough of it for years then i got these little decorative nail parts i really like them i like them both for my nails and then i thought they could also be nice little embellishments um on some backgrounds or things like that and then i grabbed some flexible cutting boards um, just for when working with watercolours and um, other supplies like that. Um, ink tents, near colours. Might be able to use these little cutting boards to be able to do that. <coughs> what else did we go? Alright. I grabbed a pencil case. Within a pencil case. Uh, because I keep buying stuff and I need to organise it and store it. So that was what I got there and I went to an art store while I was there I, I'm up visiting my mum 
Went to this art store. I thought it'd be amazing. It wasn't. Um, the people running it weren't that nice either. But um, I was there and I thought I'd grab this um, Mars er eraser. Um, it seemed quite firm and I thought that might be good for coloured pencil work. And then I just grabbed a white um, Luma Colour Permanent. Things when I'm working with charcoal or graphite, that might work really nicely there to put some highlights in. Um, what have I got here? It's like a little surprise for me. Oh, okay, so I grabbed some glitter glues. I think these were marked down at a store. So I've got a gold, a silver, and an iridescent. So there we go. Next one up. Next one up. I grabbed a what I thought was a 60 pack of gel pens. I thought, ooh, that, that'd be good. Um, and got excited over that and then realized that it was actually two packs of 30. Um, and I went, well, there you go. Gave them one of that to one of the kids and I'll keep the other one for myself. Just add it to the gel pen collection that I have. All right. Next up, pencils. Oh, I don't know. Okay, grabbed Dewint Drawing. Um, so with art, these are light fast. So I thought I'd grab the 12 pack just to see how they go. Um, very natural colors. And I thought that'd be nice for when I'm working on um, any landscapes or animal portraits. So I grabbed them. They're a really thick pencil with a really thick core. So I haven't actually played with them at all to even know what they're like. Um, they've got, I've seen good reviews of it, but looking forward to that. And then I also got a set of the Black Widow pencils. Now I see everyone having them in the tin and there was a one of the art supply, online art stores here in Australia had these marked down online and I think they might have been the original um, packaging before he went to the tins. So it was a good price. So I grabbed them. Um, I swatched them and went, yes, they seem amazing and have since ordered the rest. So they are coming. Um, the only issue with these ones were uh, they didn't have a name or anything on it. So I went through and um, with the swatching, linked it up to the name that corresponds with it and put it on there just with a gel pen. So at least I know which one's which, especially when I get the remaining sets. I grabbed these ones because they feel really nice. That Well, they seem fairly nice to um, work with and um, what I've seen online is that they are very nice pencils to colour with. And I, you know, my Polychromos and my Prismas and, and some my DeWints and stuff like that, you know, they're very much focused around that light fastness and you, for use within um, professional art. And I thought, well, I'd rather, if I can, mostly keep them for that purpose. So when I am colouring uh, or drawing a picture, so an actual, like, you know, my own picture, I am conscious of using something that is light fast so that if someone purchases it, obviously it's not going to fade within on them in the first few years. But I thought, well, if I get the Black Widows, I can use them a fair bit in colouring and not be using my other pencils. So that was the thought. Basically, it was just an excuse to buy more pencils. Um, that's kind of how it works. Um, more gel pens. Oh, who knows how many I've got in there. So I've got a set of metallic gel pens. Pretty colours. There you go. Alright, Daiso again. Grabbed these. These are just little um, pastel chalks. Same thing. I've got my pan pastels and things that I use for my um, art. But I thought, well, these were some different colours. They're $2.80. I figured... We'll see how they go. They're no good. They're no good. I'll give it, um, I'll use it at school or whatever. And I could use it for backgrounds and things like that. So that was that, the thought process behind that. Basically, I was just buying stuff because I wanted to. Um, 
Then we go on to some inks. So I grabbed some of these Memento ink pads. Um, getting ink here, especially the, I see a lot of people using the distressed ink for their backgrounds. They are ridiculously expensive here in Australia. So I saw these at Officeworks and I went, well, I'll give it a go. Um, grabbed a little, a few little daubers to go with it. I don't know, I'll have to have a play with them and see how it works for a background um, and see what happens. I um, see, what's the channel? Zucchini Kitty does a lot of stuff with distressed inks and it looks fantastic. So I wanted to get on that bandwagon and try it. Then I grabbed one, two of the Genzai Tambi um, watercolors. Um, so I got the metallic starry colors, so the things like the gold and the silvers, and the gem colors, so the metallic brights. Um, one of the ki my kids really likes to work in watercolor, and I thought that'd be really nice and much cheaper to get it there than for me to have gotten it online and sent here. So I did that. That was my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. You'll find that's the general theme. As we go along here, as I just did because I wanted to. Grabbed a few um, big intensity markers. So I've got some metallic ones and pastel ones. So I have a huge number of Sharpies, but I thought these would be a nice addition. The Sharpies I've got are only the, the metallic Sharpies are only the silver, bronze and gold. And I didn't have a lot of pastel colors. So again, I did because I wanted to. So that's them. Oh, I'm running out of space to put everything as I am going through it. Markers. Oh, who knows? We'll probably be pulling out a few different piles of markers as I go through this. Um, because I can't even remember what I bought. All right, let's have a look. We've got... Montmartre felt tip markers. Grab them. I think they're like two dollars at a discount store. I went, yeah, sure. Um, then I grabbed the jewel markers by Montmartre, um, fifty-four piece. So just for a bit more of a color range um, of our, we call them textures, but I guess our water-based markers. Um, Trying to open them up. See, I haven't even opened this. Like, I've bought so much stuff that I don't even remember. So, nice range of colours within them. Um, so, thought they'd be good for things like colour by numbers, stuff like that. At least I've got a range of choice and I keep breaking the box. Why oh, doesn't that surprise me? And then I grabbed these ones because they were shiny and sparkly and I'm a niffler and that's all, the only reason for it was they're nice and shiny and sparkly. And I'm like, I want to see what these are like. I haven't seen these before. And I thought, well, I'm going to have a look at what they are like. There goes my glasses. Uh, all right. So now I'm curious. I've got a bit of black paper here. See what they look like that on that. So let's do high. So you can see, you can definitely see the glitter in it. The color isn't showing up on the black. Let's try it on here. This is the Black Widows when I was swatching them out before. This is watercolor paper, so I don't know how it's gonna go on that. And yet on this paper, you can't really see the glitter much at all. So, oh, a little bit, depending on how you move it with the light. So it'll be interesting to see what they look like. Um, basic set of colours. Oh, I've got, what have we got? Blue, yellow, red, orange, teal, purple, brown and black. Okay. It was sparkly and I went, okay. That's pretty much it. Okay. 
What else have we got? Um, little box crayons. Again, I think these are like $2 at a cheap shop. Little mop mop. Little, oh, I'm having, a, having everything falling. Little box of crayons. I don't think I've used crayons since I was at school. Myself, as in a student at school. But I thought, why not have them there? Something different. And I ended up using them in a colouring book page. I think I showed that in the last video. <coughs> was it good? No. Was it fun? Yep. So, that's cool. Okay. I need to take a drink there. Alright. Oh, shiny stuff. Okay, remembering Niffler that I am. I grabbed a bunch of um, copper leaf, gold leaf, silver leaf, some sizing, and then some rose gold metallic flakes. You know, again, I do a lot of art and crafting. Those kind of things are good. They might end up in some colouring books. I don't know, but I've got them. Uh, what do we end up here? Fine line markers. So I grabbed more markers. Missed that on the last round. Um, I think these were on discount. Sounds like something I would have got if they were on discount. I probably would have grabbed it. You know, the FOMO, the fear of missing out. Got a water brush. Did I need it? No. Um, but I have a number of them. And they always seem to go missing. Um, everyone in this house does art. So things like this are constantly disappearing and relocating into various rooms and places and I'm the only one that seems to put things back as is the joys of being the parent so there I grabbed another one of them mainly because I did treat myself I grabbed these so I grabbed the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s and um I am very much looking forward to having a play with these guys. Um, do I think it's going to be a learning curve? Absolutely. But it'll be fun. So definitely looking forward to having a bit of a play with these. Um, was it an excessive purchase? Yes. But then the way I look at it is I work to live. I don't live to work. Um, I work hard. I get to spend my money on the things I like. Alright, what else have we got? Oh, we're, look, we're getting towards the end. I'm actually getting through this much faster than I thought I would. Okay. I grabbed a set of alcohol markers. These are just the cheap set. Um, for me, I'm not going to be using markers for illustration. That's not how, what I do. Sorry, just hit my camera. Um, it's not what I do for art. I'm more of, I guess, pencils and paint. So I grabbed these just for colouring. So I thought I'll just grab a smaller set. I already have a bunch of other markers. And my daughter uses markers quite a lot for her illustration work. She's got her own set, but I thought, well, instead of me borrowing hers all the time, I'll grab my own little set for myself. Um, brushes, because again, brushes go missing in my place. Um, I think I have, I would hate to know how many, 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 many tens of brushes that I have, but can't go wrong, get some more. And all of those kinds of things would have been found at discount stores that are priced cheaper than they normally are. And then these two are my last little thing in my haul, which look, you know, quite tame. The pencil cases were on sale. I think they were 50 cents, a dollar. They were pretty. It's just what's inside of them that may not have been quite so cheap. I grabbed myself a whole lot of pollies. So I slowly am building up my polychromos collection. Um, 
just getting open stock whenever I can. And I grabbed these ones. They're all light fast. The light fast rating is quite good. I'm trying to be conscious of the light fast rating for them. So I grabbed these, obviously very much in skin tones, natural tones, works with those kinds of things of the style that I like to do in my art. And then I went back and grabbed a whole lot more. These ones, the light fast rating for some of these are generally not as high. Um, but this is because, again, completion thing. I started working on the Colouring Bliss um, Tritone series, and I've got all of I've got the 150 set of Prisma Colour, so I was working through them, going through doing that, and they also have one for the polychromos and of course the pencils i have for in my polychromos are not the ones that will complete these tritone sets so i had to go back of course and get all the extra ones that i needed so that i could do that um, i'm enjoying doing that tritone stuff it's quite interesting um, the color theory isn't new to me um, when i did makeup and studied makeup um, obviously having an understanding of colour theory and complementary colours and blending is an essential component of that. But as I said before, I actually like the process of just swatching sometimes. Um, that mindfulness that just comes from just laying down the colour and moving the pencil and doing something and producing something. That was good enough. Then I grabbed a... Um, brush a mitre brush or a cat's tongue brush i've been looking for one of these for ages and they are ridiculously expensive at most places found one at um, office works wasn't as badly priced it wasn't cheap but i went oh, might as well just pick it up and get that and then again sparkly stuff grabbed a gold metallic marker paint marker and then these are for my daughter. So she she's much better at her art than I am. And um, she does a lot of illustration. So we grab some Copics um, in lighter skin tones for the style that she works with. Um, because hers were running out. So that is my... Um, slightly overboard art supplies haul um now i get to have the fun time of organizing it and i'm actually being legitimate saying it's going to be the fun time because i actually really enjoy the organization part so i but i couldn't handle the bags and the mess of it all sitting out so i want to get it put away and tidy um, so I needed to get this video filmed so that I could, in fact, get started with that and um, organise my life. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed um, that little haul. If you want any reviews or want me to do any swatching of um, any particular things, let me know down below. Um, I'd love to hear a comment from you if you enjoyed this. And as always, remember, be kind, be strong and be a warrior. And I will see you later. Bye.